Remember last uh, week we were making fun of uh, Glenn and Rebecca? Yes. Well, they're we're, awful show. Well, we're done with Glenn and Rebecca. We're moving on to another awful show today. I like these. They're all over the country. They're just horrid, drivel, milk toast shows that have the guy with the radio voice and the hole that uh, sits next to him and just chimes in, and it sounds like a bad SNL sketch. It sounds like a parody of a radio show. Uh, they talk about nice, pleasant things and... Oh, gosh, there's a lot of, oh, gosh, and things like that. It's the safe kind of radio that, that uh, is, is completely predictable, that the government wants. Mm -hmm. uh, it's just that straight down the middle, don't upset anybody kind of crap, boring drivel. The radio companies want this type of radio. It's safe, and it's not going to get anyone in trouble. And I swear, we're going to play some audio here, and you're going to go, this is this is more Glenn and Rebecca. You guys played this type of thing last yep. week. No, it's another show. Totally different. Totally different. But the same. <laughs> Every city's like, ooh. What city? What, is what this, city? Is Are this my city? Of, uh, this week. Do I know that? Because I know a show just like that. <laughs> That's right. It's got to be my city. No, they're all over. And uh, today it's Eric and Kathy. Yep. Chicago's Chicago. own Eric and Kathy. Chicago. Ugh. That's why, in a way, I hate our listeners in Chicago. Oh. Because they allow shows like this to beat us. Look, I know we have a lot of work ahead of us. I know we got to turn some people around in Chicago, especially. But to allow a show like this to be as big as it is is just an embarrassment for everybody involved. Why is it? I Why don't is get a it. show like that uh, so so big? I don't know. You're not, you're gonna you tune in every day. You're not gonna hear anything unpredictable. I swear to you, the the Opie and Anthony show. You have to listen every day because. Uh, because tomorrow could be the day we do the, the the stupidest thing ever heard in radio. On a whim, we've we done do it. stuff that gets us fired or arrested. We've done uh, the stupidest us. thing in radio probably six times at this point. Yeah, and two of them got us fired, mm -hmm. and a few others we were able to skate. Thank God. You think that's out of our system? <laughs> yeah, well, we're unpredictable. I th uh, our faithful listeners know that. Yeah, but you listen to a show like Eric and Kathy in Chicago, and like, why would you listen to this drivel? Horrid. Is it background uh, stuff as you're getting ready? Background music or whatever? If you're dropping your yeah. kids off, you can probably listen to it. That's probably like, a lot of parents drop their kids off and listen to it. Just get the info of the local weather. It's probably on in a lot of the stores, the mall, things like that. Well, it's just god-awful, and we're about to play a little bit of audio, and you're going to swear it's, like I said, Glenn and Rebecca from last week. But no. It's the same formula. Like Ann said, the dude in a hole... And they have this weird relationship where you almost feel like they might be dating. But Are they, they married? But, or? but they have spouses, but yeah. they have this relationship that's kind of like a marriage. They're real close. And they, they try to come off like, yeah, I, that, what is that relationship? What is the, the host guy on a radio show and the whole? It's like, yeah, we're going out. We're married. We're, we're discussing things that like a couple that's going out would discuss. You don't just walk up to a girl on the street and start talking about this, like, like I keep saying, drivel. This garbage. Look, man. What are they? Friends? I, good friends? I love women, and I love radio, but I swear to you, if we had a chick on this show on a regular basis, I would go home and kill myself. <laughs> oh. I would kill myself, because this is like a clubhouse. This is like a... This is like a dream come true where you just get to hang out with your 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 guy friends and and get paid to do it. Are you kidding yeah. me? You don't have to mix and match everything you love, huh? You don't have to mix and match everything. Some things are better separate. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. I love oral sex. I love egg salad. Never together. <laughs> <laughs> we don't mind talking about our girls from time to. Very good. Sorry, Jimmy. I should have let that That's just right. sit there for a little bit. Uh, I'm trying to get better at that. Very good. But I gotta be the guy. I'll fill up, fill up the dead air, fill up the dead air, fill up the dead air. Move on to the next thing, next thing, next thing, next thing. Jim How about you relax a bit every once in a while? Jim Jesus. says never, but I bet you would. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> would. If it was to cover something else up, yeah. <laughs> uh, let's say hi to Jay in Chicago, listening to this fine program. Jay, what's going on? So you got some uh, info on Eric and Kathy? Yeah, well, first of all, I gotta say, I listen to you guys every morning. I'm from Chicago. I listen on XM because there's the hour delay that they got. Yeah, that's kind of a problem, but that's that uh, that time thing. 
Yeah. We have nothing to do with that. If there was no hour delay, you guys would be huge here. Like, wait, I I know a bunch of people, but if there was no hour delay, it'd just blow up. All right, well, we got to figure that out. Eric Eric and Kathy, they got these billboards. One, they got Bono. He's like half the size of the billboard, and it says, you two, and then on their side it says, and us two. And they're wearing the same Bono shades, and they look all like rocker. And then they got one with Glenn Stefani, Glenn Stefani on the other side, and it says, rocker style, and then the morning dial with them on the other side. And I've never heard them. I just hate them purely from their image alone. Wow, just the billboards alone. I'm looking at the billboards right now. Yeah, oh. it's Bono on the left side of the billboard, and then it's Eric and Kathy on the other side, and it says you two and us two, and uh, they're all wearing the uh, the same sunglasses trying to look uh, look hip. <sighs> The uh, the last one with Green Day on the left side of the billboard and Eric and Kathy on the right side, and the slogan is "Make up and wake up," and they're wearing the same type of eye makeup that uh, you know Green Day uh, wears when they're performing. Uh, Eric is very emu. <laughs> emu Eric is what they call him. You know, emu or emo? You know what they should have. Oh, e- emo. Not, emo to say it. not a big right. bird. I'm sorry. They I, should have them split I, on the. You, uh, they should have the Eric and Kathy split on the billboard, and they should have him wearing a Chicago Cubs uniform, and it should say bunt, and then have... <laughs> <laughs> there you go. There's some That's Chicago a billboard. humor for See, you. See, we're helping him out. <laughs> Could work in uh, White Sox with something else, I'm sure. <laughs> white Sox. She likes black. All right. Ooh. Well... <clears throat> Yeah, there's a picture of Albert Bell standing behind with a hammer. (laughs) (laughs) There's some Chicago humor for you. Those are awful billboards. Yeah, but they're kicking our ass. I know. That's what pisses me off. Why? Because it's like Light FM here. There's certain things that people can listen to anywhere and in stores and stuff like that and in offices. They can leave it on at the office. Does that make it great? Does that mean like like restaurants should then serve oatmeal only because it's safe? And everyone will get it because it's so safe and nice and good for you. And st- so, sometimes you want a good steak. Mm-hmm. We're a steak. What does it say about women? Women don't have a sense of humor. That th- yes. This is what they like? Because yes. I, I know guys aren't listening to this. You know, guys are not listening to this type of radio. Oh, he ke- what, 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 what? keeps catching me. I'm looking at the, the billboards, and he, I, I don't even realize I'm doing it until Iraq starts laughing. I'm making the butthead face. I'm just looking at it going like, uh, uh, like I can't believe it. they really did this. They posed them like the people oh boy. that they're supposed to look like. Well, American Kathy. You want to hear some American Kathy audio? What does the thing say no, above that the, on the top one? Lo- loud and laughter. It says pink. Pink on the left side of the billboard yeah. and Eric and Kathy on the other side. See, and it says loud and laughter because pink is very loud and boisterous. So they, oh, they got a picture they're of, funny. Hold on. They got a picture of pink with her a mouth open. She's just getting wild. And then on the other side of the billboard, uh, Kathy's got that same type of uh, look with Eric going, ah. Like, shut up. Yeah, hey, ah, hey now. Shut up. Why are you so loud? Shut up, whore. <laughs> How great would it be if they had, like, Jake and Vicky LaMotta on one side, <laughs> and then Eric and Kathy emulating that relationship on the other <laughs> side? Just giving her a right yes. cross. Or Klaus von Bülow and Sonny, Eric and Kathy, OJ, Nicole. How many Scott beautiful... Scott Peterson and Lacey. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Yeah, she's she's got her nose. She's like holding her nose with bubbles over her head, and the old oh, oh no face. <laughs> that silly wacky oh no face. All right. <laughs> Plenty of other relationships they should have emulated. All right, well here we go for Chicago today. This is a a little taste of Eric and Kathy. They got the big uh, they, they got the big show opener. It's big unbelievable. Show opener. Live from Chicago, it's the Eric and Kathy show. Oh yeah. If love is blind, then. Why is lingerie so popular? <laughs> <laughs> Get it? No, I don't. Uh, it covers up a world of hurt. <laughs> so you uh, want uh, to uh, for him. Oh, God, is that I, fantastic. I hate to be the guy who was popular. Popular. And I'll tell you why lingerie is popular, by the way. Because blind people can feel stupid. Crotchless panties you don't look at. It's the feel of them that's so sexy. So that's why lingerie. You should have picked a better example. Yeah. Like eye makeup. Or why is makeup so popular? Makeup and wake up. Makeup and wake up, Jimmy. With the, uh, what's her name? Oh, you know what? You know what? We need slogans. 
that's what this show is missing. We need slogans. <laughs> like. Hey, Kathy. <laughs> yes, whales are in the face of the shovel. <laughs> Wake up. <laughs> Kathy, how you doing? I've been working with you for years. I got one thing I want to do. <laughs> Cave your effing skull in. <laughs> oh, oh, well. Oh, yeah. Of course, you got this classic. <laughs> yeah, that too. <laughs> hey, hey, Kathy. <laughs> Sometimes I'm a bad boy, yeah. Ah, yeah. Of course you are. Yeah. Anyway, let's get back to the uh the fine opener here. Live from Chicago, it's the Eric and Kathy show. If love is blind, then why is lingerie so popular? Popular. Now, here they are, your hosts, Eric and Kathy. Hey. Good point. Uh -huh. I like it. Not a good point. No good point. Not a good point, a good joke, a good anything. <laughs> it's just not good. Exactly. Why don't you commit oh. a good suicide? <laughs> <laughs> Stupid. <laughs> Ah, we're taking your uh, billboard suggestions. Let's see. Wait, I want him to hit her in the head and then throw it through the window. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> hey, Kathy! <laughs> <laughs> With a laugh track behind it. <laughs> oh, Kathy. Ah. <laughs> Sick of you. Yeah, you know what? They're kicking our ass, though. I don't, I don't get it. I don't get it. Joe in Jersey, what's up? Yeah, on the south side of Chicago, they think I can tee the billboard on the other side. They got Eric beating her with the telephone. <laughs> that's, funny. Yeah, that's, that's funny. Phil Spector in the middle going, eh. <laughs> Punch it out. All right. <laughs> Let's uh, get back to the opener here. Hey! That's an interesting point. Uh-huh. I like it. 534 at the mix. All right. These flurries are all my fault. I had to wash the car. Uh-huh. Just... Holy crap. Why That's are we even... my fault. I had to wash the car. You know what that does. But, mm -hmm. but his voice. What is it with Chicago guys and the voice? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah you had to wash the car. Well, Someone no, went is. back one over you. It's very obvious what's going on here. They're sick of doing radio. They have no passion Ooh. for it anymore. That, you hear this all the time, the, no matter what city you're in. They, they're like, they've been doing it for so long. They, they get ratings because people are just used to, you know, a, a routine. Yeah. You can tell there's nothing uh, between the two anymore. <sighs> and, she, and she's doing hack material like uh, blame the flurries on me because I washed the car yesterday. I washed the car. Whenever I wash the car, it rains or uh, it snows <laughs> or something. Whenever I wash that car. <laughs> that was actually Susan Smith's excuse. <laughs> <laughs> They sound bored. <laughs> what if the brushes in the car wash? <laughs> uh, <laughs> oh, that was horrible. All right, look, here we go. Uh, I like it. 534 at the mix. All right, these flurries are all my fault. I had to wash the car. Uh-huh. Just in time uh -huh. for there to be enough snow to make the streets wet there and you go. the cars dirty. Well, it would have happened later this week because it gets, you know, up into the 40s and 50s, so it was all going to melt anyway, making yeah. all the streets wet. So it was just a matter of time. Kind of hoping for at least a good solid two days of a clean car, but mm -hmm. oh well. <sighs> I saw the sign. <laughs> no, da, 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 I saw the sign. Life is demanding. Without understanding, I saw the sign. A new drop in top my eyes. I saw the sign. No one's gonna drag you up to get into the light where you belong. Did they just do a a break on flurries and dirty roads because it's gonna melt? I don't know what that make was. Make everything dirty. It's the presentation, too. It's just so... I don't know what they are. How about hitting us with a surprise? Like, oh, the flurries, blame me. I had a hysterectomy. <laughs> God is punishing everybody. 
<laughs> well, at least now you have a place to throw the snow after you shovel it. <laughs> <laughs> well, Sam took that audio and uh, and made him edgy. Made it a little more unpredictable. Unpredictable, a little Good. edgy. Kind of, kind of bringing uh, the Eric and Kathy show into our world uh -huh. is what's uh, going on here. Now, uh, now this is entertaining. This is what I would listen to every morning. Just a slight change in the exact same break you heard. Live from Chicago, it's the Eric and Kathy show. If love is blind, then why is lingerie so popular? Now, here they are, your hosts, Eric and Kathy. It's an interesting point. Uh-huh, I like it. 534 at the mix. All right, these are all my fault. I had to wash the uh-huh. Just in time for there to be enough to make it wet. There you go. Dirty. Well, it would have happened later this week. Kind of hoping for at least a good salad. Mm -hmm. Oh, well. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there you go. And here's how he responded to her. He went, uh-huh, there you go. And uh, 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 you know, yeah, uh-huh, uh, mm -hmm. uh, yeah, uh, 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 sure, uh, yeah, uh, yeah, uh, well, uh, I. Uh, and what is with the mix? Shut up. <laughs> the mix. The mix. mix. There's a mix in every freaking town in America. But how long is his S's? Uh, 534, the mix. 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 Yeah. Ah, uh, uh, oh, <laughs> mm-hmm, ah. Uh, <laughs> yeah. So sucks. Right? Mm hmm. Yep. Sure. Uh huh. What'd you say? Oh. Not listening to uh, you. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Uh. <laughs> you got some more? All right. Well, you want another clip real fast? More than I want oxygen. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> Let's, uh, someone is like, stop making fun of competition. Shut up. Go freaking. What? Listen to Wake Up With Whoopi or something. I actually said stop complaining about the competition. Complaining. This is complaining? This is a... This is having a pisser. Is that yeah. instant feedback? Or yeah. Of course. No, it's a, actually it was a phone call and the guy bailed. It's just having fun with the competition because they suck so bad. That's right. We just got 15 minutes of good material out of it. What happened? I don't know. What so, happened? So your old station there. What old station? Uh, they just showed uh, 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 B.A.B. Oh, what? your old uh, station there. What dumb thing did they do this time? I don't know, but they showed the board and the meters. Oh. You know, the standard. Whenever a radio station is featured on the news, they have to show the meters the moving. Board. All right, well, find and out the what that's board. about. Yeah. All right, here we go. More Eric and Kathy. Well, this ought to be nice here to try to figure this out. What? Dana from Oswego sending in this morning saying I was wondering question. Hey, Eric, uh, yesterday was such a windy day. It was odd. I went to the bathroom at work and noticed that the water in the toilet was sloshing around. No. That's what she says. That's odd. Hmm. Water in the toilet was sloshing around. Huh. I was wondering why does the water in the toilet slosh around on windy days? <laughs> What? I can't seem to come up with a logical explanation for you this. You dope. I was wondering. Thanks, Dana. I wonder where she works. I don't know. I've never seen that before. You ever notice that dynamic before? Here's why, by the way. See, we're not trying. <laughs> we're trying. I was going to say we're not trying, which is so stupid. We're 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 trying too hard. We just got to do dumb, stupid things. <laughs> the, the, the beds they use are just awful. <laughs> <laughs> Stephen from Bayshore, Kathy is to blame for the snow in Chicago. She once kissed a Negro. <laughs> Yikes. <laughs> I believe when the wind blows over the vent pipes on top of your house that vent the um, plumbing system, uh, the pressure changes. And when the pressure changes, the water will slosh around. Just had to answer the question. I never just noticed in case that. Anybody. But I like the fact that the woman who wrote in is on her hands and knees staring at the toilet water, <laughs> <laughs> doing little Richter measurements before she uses it. How about you just sit and then shut your face? <laughs> Why does it swirl after I hit that little silver thing on the side? And all of my goodies go away. My <laughs> <laughs> goodies. Ugh. Well, let me let me answer that. Do they answer it? Is that what they do? Yeah, I was trying to find something, though. Yes, I think he did answer it. But the, the answer was, ah, because I work with a hole? <laughs> You've got a hole here. I don't uh, know. Ah. Uh, yeah. yeah, yeah. Uh, the timing's everything. I couldn't find it in time. Never mind. All right, here's that same uh, that same break uh, as we bring him into our world. Right. Making him edgy. Making him funny, actually. Yeah, we'll help him out. Same break. You're going to get some chuckles out of it.
Well, this ought to be nice here to try to figure this out. What? Dana from Oswego sending in this morning's Hey, I Was Wondering question. Hey, Erica, yesterday was such a windy day. It was odd. I went to the bathroom to the at work and noticed that the in the toilet was sloshing around. No. That's what she says. That's odd. Hmm. In the toilet was sloshing around. Huh. I was wondering why does the in the toilet slosh around on windy days? <laughs> I can't seem to come up with a logical explanation for this. Hmm. Just wondering. Thanks, Dana. I wonder where she works. I don't know. Christine, <laughs> never seen that before. You ever notice that before? <laughs> <laughs> I can kind of tell what that word's supposed to be when you believe it. Yeah. Do you listen to what her responses are? I wonder where she works. But, but oh, mm-hmm, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, just nonsense. Yeah, yeah. It, it is nonsense. It is nonsense. So you were with the funny-looking one? Yeah, yeah. Well, Chicago's on our radar. He was kind of funny-looking. We got a nice little bump up in the trend. Nothing to brag about, but we're moving in the right direction. And now we got to start focusing on why a show like Eric and Kathy does so well in Chicago. I want what are we dissected. doing wrong? What are we doing wrong? Do we need to do more? Huh? Uh, 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 oh, gosh. Uh, I know where they work. Ooh, I don't know. Let me ask another question. That means nothing. It was, I wonder where she works. <laughs> why <laughs> why would really that think about that? There's a que- Even the, the whole thing is lame. But this woman poses a question about the toilet water where she works sloshing on windy days. That's the question. She goes... I wonder where she works. <laughs> like that matters. Doesn't matter if she's a hooker or the president of Smith Barney. It's it a stupid question. It doesn't matter. It's amazing. I, t- I wonder where she works. My car broke down as I was driving home yesterday. I wonder if she has sunglasses. That's exactly how much relevance that had. Yeah. I wonder where she works. Well, we got Allie in Florida. Allie, you want to defend women in radio? Well, yeah. I mean, a lot of them do suck. I'm yeah. I'll give you that. Uh-huh. But just, I mean, not all of them. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Sure. Yeah, there are a couple yeah. that are pretty freaking funny. Yeah, yeah, right. Okay. Like yeah. like mm-hmm. who? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, there was a lady down here, but she got fired. Why did she so, get fired? I oh, have no idea. God, I hope it was, it was for something good. Because she was t- so good. Yes. Was oh, she driving she probably, drunk and hit a oh. strip club? <laughs> she, probably got, she probably got fired because she decided to have a kid. Yeah. <laughs> Women will do that. I actually remember that show. It was, uh, it was Yates in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> no, nothing good. Look, so actually, the station just got, I guess, changed over, but no. nothing good. I just wanted you to admit that maybe some of them are okay. I, uh, I, I uh, found a one. I don't know. They they play the same role in general. They're like these holes that just kind of like uh, just do cute, happy stuff that is just babble. Not all the time. Most times. Just about Most every time. single time. Just about. All right, this calls a little nowhere, so I'm going to punch out. All right. All right. Too late. How yeah, come it's too late. Where's the edgy women in radio? How come there's no ballsy women or edgy women in radio that you hear? They're all the same. Mm-hmm. Oh, really? Oh, yeah. Ah, okay. ah, ah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Uh-huh. 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 Yeah. 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 Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Uh-huh. 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 Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. They tolerate uh-huh. her as they start. Okay. <laughs> I, I was going to watch the car and I watched the shut up. <laughs> shut up is right. Dude, if, if we can... You know, look, we do some dumb things. All right, let's acknowledge that. But we try our asses off. And if one of us came in and said, well, blame the rain or the snow on on me because I washed my car Watch yesterday. The car. You would look at that person and go, are, are you insane? Blame the snow on me. Got AIDS. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. That's God's frozen tears falling on the city. <laughs> well, let's go to Robert in Buffalo. Robert? Hey, how you doing, guys? Hey, hey Robert. Man. Good morning from Buffalo. Hey, that lady was worried about her toilet water going up and down. Too many volumes there, no doubt. How should I like to get up and find her toilet froze in the morning? Ah? Uh-huh. Did that happen? Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. I got up this morning. My wood burner was all. My water was froze. My toilet was froze. That was no fun at all. Uh-huh. So, <laughs> so what did you do? I wonder what kind of TV he has. <laughs> I live, I, I live kind of out in the woods. And I had to drive 13 miles to a McDonald's. To go. Oh, oh, so you couldn't actually use it. It, it, it would have looked like Malcolm Jamal Warner dozing off on an icy pond. <laughs> it looked like a giant oh. cupcake with a Hershey Kiss on top. <laughs> all right. Let's, uh, oh, thank you, Robert. Yeah. Good topical black eye reference. Uh, Malcolm Jamal Warner. 
I should be shot. <laughs> it might be, you might be. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, there you go. We're paying attention to Eric and Kathy today. We'll have more audio in just a bit. We have more uh, Eric and Kathy audio. The last clip for today. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Don't want to push it. Though. No. Uh, yeah. Enjoy it. Of course. We got some uh, all right news out of Chicago yesterday. Did all right in a little ratings trend. We got a long ways to go. We know that. So we're kind of paying attention to some of the radio in Chicago. And this Eric and Kathy ends up on our radar from time to time. And we just don't understand why Chicago would tune into this god-awful show. And there's a show like this in every city. Yeah. And they do very well. And I just don't get it. I like to give the people more credit. I understand that like, people have different tastes and all that. I, I know. I know this show's not for everyone. I get all that. But when you listen to a radio show that's just so predictable and they're not doing anything really thought-provoking or edgy and, and their jokes are all old-school crap, mm. I, I just... And dumb little contests and little trivia questions. Like, who got kicked off American Idol last night? Uh, ugh. Call us up. You'll uh, win a prize. Uh, Jay in Chicago, what's going on? Hey, what's up, man? Hey. Uh, hey, I'm glad to hear that you guys are taking a radio spike, uh, you know, taking some more of the market. but uh, uh, A little bit, a little bit. I'm sure that stupid Fetter guy or Federer or uh, Feeder or whatever the hell his name is, is in Chicago douche. will have something stupid to say about it. But we did show a little growth. We have a long ways to go. But uh, is he going to acknowledge that? Of course not. You know what? I, I would like to touch on something Steve said, Uh Steve Dow uh, said his ideal show for uh, Free FM would be having you guys not on a delay. That way we can get more involved in your show. Well, they got to work that out up yeah, there. That'd be nice. We agree with Steve. We Dalt. have no problem doing seven to ten for you guys because I mean, with the time difference, that's how it would work out. And, and you know what? It kills me because I can't call in the show. I've been listening for the last few months, and then all of a sudden I find out you're on a time delay, and I'm like, Oh wait, is it the other way? Yeah, I think you're wrong. I think oh yeah, it goes five to eight. Five, five to eight. Five yeah, ten would be perfect. Yeah, that's somewhere oh, that's out in the Atlantic. And you know what? <laughs> it would. It would because you know what? Most people aren't listening to the radio right at five, but at six, when everybody gets up, boom, they can interact. Here's the, they're on their commute. Here's the problem with that theory. Uh, we only do three hours to begin with, and then one of the hours is wasted in the middle of the night. That's like John and Jeff. Uh, 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 third shift. Yeah, that's John and Jeff time zone crap. Love that show. No, it's, 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 it's unfortunate. I mean, us I in don't. the Midwest, we'd like to get more involved. I mean, I love the show. All Looking right. forward to the ONA virus this summer. Isn't that odd that he Thank you. got more involved? Yeah, he certainly did. He called. <laughs> now, what's he going to do later on? Listen. <laughs> I don't know how that works. All right, you talk really slow so they can just replay the last hour. <laughs> yeah. That's... They'll figure it out up there. <laughs> we'll just put, like, how about this? We do one bit in the 8 o'clock hour and then do 54 minutes of commercials and then just do that for Chicago. <laughs> <laughs> Be a hit. All right. Uh, one more clip from Eric and Kathy. Any observations there, young Sam? This one's a good one. This is Sam's uh, baby. I was telling him uh, before when he came in. I go, you are just let it ride, guy. He's the guy that goes to the track, bets on the first race, and wins, and then just goes right back to the window. Let it ride. Let it ride. Because all these that he's done so far have been really good. They've turned out well. It just takes one, though. Yeah. It just takes one, and we turn on you and go, well, I guess that bit's over. <laughs> this is right. a good one. And we're encouraging the listeners to do the bleep game, too. You yeah. go to... Uh, WTMX.com and uh, check out some American Kathy audio and have fun adding the bleeps to make him edgy. Kathy. And it brings him into our world. Ew. All right, here's uh, actual audio from this god awful show this morning. Uh, we were talking over the weekend. Uh, wild Hogs, mm -hmm. number one at the box office. More of that the dumb music. music. They play music that's 80 years old. It's like Laurel and Hardy. Hi, how you doing, Kathy? You know, uh, these very dumb, good. These dumb morning shows. They they add the audio to to make it a little more interesting. To spice it up. Because even they know what they're talking about is just just horse crap. Anything you could do to spice it up. Sure. And we were talking over the weekend. Uh, wild hogs. Mm -hmm. Number one at the box office. Rock in the box office. 38 million bucks. Whoa, who knew? And there was something in USA Today yesterday about how it was 
majority women. Yeah. Like 54% were women. Well, I remember we talked um, uh, to a bunch of women yesterday who said it was like, like wet yourself hysterical. Yeah. Mm-hmm. They liked it a lot. Laugh out loud funny. And I wanted to go see it and then saw all the horrible reviews. And I'm usually a guy that ignores that kind of thing. But I paid attention. I'm thinking, well, maybe they're right. Maybe they're... You're not even a guy. No, you're, you're <laughs> castrated. You're not even a guy. Let's start there. You're abroad with the wrong genitals. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, as a guy, because i got to represent the guy. I the represent show. the guys. You represent the girls. Yeah, yeah. That's how the show's got to work. That's our dynamic. Funny. And I wanted to go see it and then saw all the horrible reviews. And I'm usually a guy that ignores that kind of thing, but I paid attention. I'm thinking, well, maybe they're right. Maybe it is stupid. So now I'm kicking myself, so I'm definitely going. Maybe even today. I really wish the critics would have more of a sense of humor. I'm going to soak up some hogs maybe today. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's a little risque. <laughs> mm. Why would you go soak up some hogs? Some hogs. <laughs> what a... Oh, God. I don't know what to even say about that. That is awful. <laughs> they just did a break on wild hogs and but, then said it was funny, but never explained why it was like... Dude, like laugh yourself out loud funny. funny, she said. See, when you do a radio show loud. and you go, wow, I saw wild hogs and it was... Uh, Blank yourself funny. Then you explain why it was that funny. You don't just say that because yeah. that's just that's just that means nothing. It means nothing to to their uh, to their listeners. You got to explain yourself. Mm. Well, uh, Sam took that audio and uh, made it a little edgier. Well, they got pretty edgy toward the end of that. So I uh, bring in Eric and Kathy done. into our world. Oof. We make them funny. We make them funny. That's what we do. Same clip, it's just a little different. Uh, we were talking over the weekend, uh, wild hogs, mm-hmm. rocking the Whoa, who knew? And there was something in USA Today yesterday about how it was majority women. Yeah. Like 54% were women. Well, I remember we talked um, uh, to a bunch of women yesterday who said it was like, like wet yourself. Mm, they liked it. And I wanted to go in and then saw all the reviews, and I'm usually a guy that ignores but I paid attention. I'm thinking, well, maybe they're right, maybe it is. So now I'm f***ing myself, so I'm definitely going. Maybe even today. I'm going to f*** up some hogs maybe today. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I, I like them with the beeps. Yeah, it's definitely <laughs> funny, man. They're definitely better. <laughs> I think the bit's still going strong. Yeah. I really do. Uh, thank you, Sam. Young Sam, everyone. Could rock some hogs. Let's say hi to Lori. She wants to defend Eric and Kathy. I'm sure she's calling from Chicago. All right, Lori. Hi, Lori. How are you today? Hey, guys. Dial it down a notch on Eric and Kathy. Come on. What's the pro? Okay, what? She's what? an idiot. She's an idiot. I- I'll give you that one. Mm-hmm. But Eric has got you. You played two sentences that were moronic. It's not a fair assessment. Like, oh, uh, we should dial it down a notch, guys. We're gonna dial it down a notch. We're gonna dial it down a notch for you, Lori. We're gonna keep. Uh, we're gonna keep an open mind with Eric and Kathy, and we're gonna continue this bid for the rest of the week. So we'll give you a few more clips. So you're saying Eric is uh, a funny guy? He's one of those guys. Okay, it's it's a lot of it's milk toast. I'll give you that. You know, but. You know, when I'm having my coffee, I don't yeah. care about, like, I, I, I go back and forth between you guys and Eric and Kathy. I'll admit it. Yeah, that means you're a dirty yeah. girl. That means Lori's a dirty she, girl. She's saying she doesn't want to hear about certain things, right? And when you're having your coffee, you don't want to hear about crazy things. But no, I just sometimes... Yeah, but I'm having my I'm coffee. Ready you know, I'm ready for it yet. Well, you do know, you read the paper in the morning? I, yeah, we, we might have been a little harsh today. You're trying to have a little oatmeal and coffee. We're talking about <laughs> sawing off limbs. <laughs> <laughs> That's the news. Deal with it. That's what makes us no, great. Let's be honest. Reason. What's no. another reason there, Lori? As we dial That's it down, I like you. Are, are you going to let me talk? Yeah. Oh. Dial it down a notch. Oh. Oh. Spunk. Oh, you're going to take that. You got a little moxie there, too, Lori. All right, Lori, go ahead. Go on. Jewish girl, you bet, man. <laughs> uh, let's hear. You're a what girl? Nice Jewish. Oh, okay. oh. oh what a moxie. shock. A Jewish girl talking a lot. All right, good. Okay, I have won so much free <laughs> crap from them. It's a draw. I've won trips to Cancun. Oh, uh, you're a prize won. pig. Oh. <laughs> prize, we used prize to call them prize pig. You're a prize pig. I am. I'm a prize whore. Give away some stuff, and I'll listen to you guys. I've worked for many radio stations, and uh, they actually list the prize pigs. Yep. You got the, na- uh, the station on auto dial and everything? 
You bet. They, you we know, would have a list. It would say prize pigs, yep. and they would have their names and the aliases they use. Yeah. So when these prize pigs would call you, you would make up some excuse, like you, even though they were the 10th caller, you'd go, ah, you were the 8th caller. They work in speed dial on three phones. Yeah, so you could you know, spread the wealth a little bit. These prize pigs uh, ruin it for everybody. So what have you gotten? Okay, I got a trip to Cancun, and I, if I tell you the music I like, you'll totally diss me, so I'm not going to go No, there. we won't. We have, everyone has no, we have very eclectic tastes here. Yeah. And, oh, God, don't diss me, but we okay, won't. go ahead. I can take it. All right, what do you like? One, they do these things where they have these small, intimate gatherings with various musicians. Uh-huh. I want a little, a little breakfast with John Bon Jovi and Richie Sambora. Oh. Of my closest friends. That's Did fine. you get any? That was pretty hot. I mean, I'm a huge John Bon Jovi. I lust for him. Are you? You think cool. he's cute, do you? I do. And I won uh, a Goo Goo Dolls kind of Cancun thing where I actually so saw Johnny Resnick. Pig. Yeah. I saw Johnny Resnick in his underwear. In oh. The spa. So worth the trip. Wow. Are you married, Lori? No, I'm not single. Can you tell? <laughs> yeah, you got to be fat. That's the... Oh, Jesus. Oh, Opie. That's the Oh, so Opie, nice. now. Take it down a notch. I... Are you a big gal? <laughs> Yeah. What? Are you a big gal? You're among friends. You can admit that you're fatty. It's I'm not 5'2", 135. Is that fat? Yeah, you're pretty much a disgusting spectacle. But, I mean, as long as you're enjoying both shows, that's really all that matters. Yeah. You're kind of stumpy. So we got to give away stuff. That'll be uh, th that'll help. All right. Uh, enough, enough of the prize thing. With uh, What do you find? Uh, give me one bit you like from Eric and Kathy. I don't like Kathy. Let's get that straight. All right. That's she hates Eric. Kathy. She's in love with Eric. Yeah. You think he's now, cute? Now, what? No, and they, they hate each other really off the air. That's kind of makes it interesting, too. You got you guys got it all Yeah, gone. but they're they phonies because they don't bring any of that to the actual show. No, they do. That's why if I'm you listen to this show close enough, you'll hear when we're hating each other. Trust me. I, I listen every day. I think I'm a better... I can get Yeah, but if they hate them. each other off the air but they don't bring that to the actual show, that's that's not that's not fun to listen. Has he ever called her the C word? <laughs> yeah. Because yes, that Kathy. would be honest, <laughs> Kathy. <laughs> no, he hasn't called her the C word. I'll oh. give you that one. Okay. All right, see? All right. That's a good start. Good place you know, to start. They, they talk about all that crap that you guys never talk about, which is what people want to talk, you know, relationship crap. We're learning. We're, we're learning. Oh, oh, we're learning now. Yeah, are This we? is what we have to do to get big in Chicago. Relationship stuff? Yeah. But not serious relationship stuff. Oh. Like, you're making, making this hard now. What? Making fun of people. We they did. make fun of people? Yes. They Somehow that didn't people. come he out. He made fun of the heard. guy that, that severed his, his lovely bride. That's a great what relationship story. Us? That's as, as relationship as you can get. <laughs> yeah, uh, I make fun I, of my ending relationship. I mean, we all joke about our relationships, don't we? We, we talk about it. Down. You're and, wearing me down. I just wanted to say a lot of it's crap. But Eric has got some zingers. I have to admit, there's holy crap! The zingers. Zingers. All right, we're, we're doing well. Thank Two God. Zingers. Proving a point. If that one of our just... listeners called up and said, "Man, I love you guys because you got some zingers." You got some zingers and and dial it down a notch <laughs> and, and stuff. The vocabulary you have, Laurie, is um, really um, I don't know. It's kind of like that soccer mom kind of. Wait Dang. a minute, Aunt. Were you okay, trying to you're learn? Still, you're still I was trying to learn. Hold on, Lori. Yeah, shut up yeah. for a second. Yeah. Big deal. Anybody can do that. Shut up. People. Shut up. Take it down a notch, Lori. Shut Lord. up. Yeah. Zingers are coming. Go, go win a prize. We got to go. Wait for a zinger. Yeah, exactly. go wait for a zinger somewhere. Wait for the, uh, the, the, the cue for you to call. Zinger and a ring ding. Were you trying to learn? I was trying to learn from her. I know. Learning is for queers. Don't you forget it. I, I, <laughs> I screwed up. I'm trying to learn. We're heading over to XM. Yeah, we want to do uh, the uh, Super Bowl complaints for tomorrow, I guess. Yeah. One of the complaints ends with, thanks, CBS, for turning my son gay. <laughs> Boy, she really spelt out the Eric and Kathy fan. Yeah. Like that whole, her, the way she spoke, yeah. the words she chooses, the, it, it was just, you could picture her with her coffee. Oh, that was a singer. There's a good one, Eric. Oh.
app. Yeah, just 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 sponging prizes and yeah. buying nothing. The advertisers are. Hey, what? I'm going to Cancun, and they they cover up the the phone or, or or put her on hold and go. Oh my God, this is the same bitch that won that thing with Bon Jovi. I could tell it's her voice. Yesterday we were talking about uh, females in radio, and I felt bad after the show. I do want to acknowledge uh, uh, Kelly from Pugs and Kelly. Oh, yeah. I forgot about Kelly. Yeah, of course. She, she, she does something that's a much different than the, the average uh, woman on radio. Not yeah. being a whole. Yeah, yeah, and we've supported her over the years, and uh, it was just uh, but I wasn't thinking yesterday. Me neither, actually. They do a good and job. And I didn't get an email or nothing. I just went home and thought about it. I'm like, you know what? Yeah. Kelly does do a really good job down there in uh, Dallas with Pugs. Yeah. Absolutely. She doesn't play the role of a whole. Oh, guys. So, all right, speaking of holes, we got some audio from Eric and Kathy. That's what I want to hear today. And we have uh, some love going out to Chicago. want to say hi to everyone listening to us on WCKG. This is what we're going to do for now on, because the ratings are so unpredictable. Mm-hmm. When a city loves us, we're going to acknowledge that and just talk about them. Yeah. And uh, when a city hates us, like Boston all of a sudden hates us, uh, we can't really talk about you guys for a while now. Because uh, according to the ratings, you're not listening. No one's listening. So we so might as well bother, focus right. all our efforts on the cities that like us. Right. Uh, this month, it's uh, New York and Chicago that like us so far. Yep. Uh, we have a long ways to go in Chicago, but we're making some headway. And uh, we're starting to take a look at all the shows that are beating us in Chicago. And this one, Eric and Kathy, ugh, we've talked about them in the past. They're awful. They really are. I think they're syndicated to a few stations, too. I have really? no understanding what th- this is about, this type of radio, how anyone can listen to it. I, ju- I just don't get it. It's that guy with the girl, and it's just awful. They talk about, and the music beds behind them, they were using, like, like the old syncopated clock thing. Burn, dun, dun, dun. All right, hold on. Because yeah. Jimmy and I just had, we a little, just had a moment. We had a little moment, a little thing. Yeah. I, I know the music you're talking about. I don't know the name of the music you're talking about. What is How that? did you know that? Oh, it um it used to be used as the theme for um like the Late Late Show or something. Yeah. Many I, years I get ago. That, but how did you know that there was a name for that? I don't know, because there's words to it. And, what do you and, do when you go home? You're just a creature. You just look and learn things. So that, <laughs> creature. What do we tell you? <laughs> Learning is for... Queers. <laughs> I know. But you can't help yourself. I can't help it. <laughs> Ew, you love your reading, writing, arithmetic. I just love absorbing information. That it's is useless. Syncopated. Mm. Syncopated clock. It's a clock that doesn't work quite right. And and, and there's, you could hear it going, tick, tock, tick, tock, tick, tock, tick, tock. You know. Yeah. 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 And the, yeah. Yeah. Well, that's uh, that's wonderful. Well, they use that, and they use the uh, baby elephant walk song. Mm-hmm. That's called the baby elephant walk. Yeah. I just thought it was called the yeah. song. <laughs> you might remember it as the Polybician dance number three by Borodin. All these classics can be yours. <laughs> Yeah. Wow. They put these uh, beds on there. Hey, how you doing? Top of the morning to you. Yeah. Well, little known fact this morning about yeah. Britney Spears, who is in rehab. Well, she tried to hang herself and was actually yelling and screaming uh, that she wanted to kill herself while in rehab. <laughs> how about that? Ah, she's crazy. Hold on, we got to love And that's pretty much what they'll do. All right, listen, uh, Eric and Kathy, so we're, we're saying hi to everyone that listens to us on WC. KG. So we're paying attention to these shows that are beating us in Chicago, and uh, this Eric and Kathy, we just don't get. Anthony explained a little bit, and uh, we're having fun with their audio. And uh, and we're taking their audio and bringing them into our world, the world of the shock jock. Shocking. Although this show isn't that shocking now, is it? No. Uh, so, um, and then now the listeners are getting involved. They're going to the website, and they're listening to this dumb show. Mm-hmm. I guess it's online. And they're taking the audio, and they're uh, throwing some bleeps in to make it more edgy and interesting. Right. So this is Brian and Bayshore. Uh, he picked this Eric and Kathy clip. It's just horrific. It's weird. A bunch of girls want to know, uh, how do you guys feel when the girl eats more than he does? Consistently. A bunch of girls want to know, Matt, you okay with a girl who shovels it away like nobody's business? 
Actually, I'm not a small guy by any means. My wife is tiny, and she out eats me every time at Ponderosa. I'm a I'm, I'm actually impressed. With it. <laughs> nice. I'm not, nice. I'm not exactly on, but I'm impressed by it. You yeah. know what, Matt? You take a woman to Ponderosa, and she shovels away more than you. You hold on to that That's woman. That's right. She's a keeper. <laughs> yeah. Uh, uh, <laughs> that's all he does. Uh, that's yeah. Un- we were unlistenable. We were talking about that yesterday. He does a lot of noises. Ah, uh, uh, he, oh. he hates what he's doing, but they're giving him a uh, a pretty good paycheck. Yeah. for sure. He doesn't want to be doing this crap with this Kathy Broad. <laughs> Do you applaud? Ah, uh, ah, uh, 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 <laughs> so uh, Brian and Bayshore took that clip and uh, and uh, he he brought the show into our world. Yeah, with a few bleeps, it's uh, it's much funnier. That music is the type of thing like a mentally ill person hears in their head. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, as the police report, like like they're found like sitting cross legged with a hammer and a prostitute knocked out in a hotel room. That's the music they hear in their head as they're taken away. That is brilliant. It's awful. That is brilliant. <laughs> Well, they use those music beds because they know what they're doing is really unimportant, and it's it's who gives a crap radio. So they try to spice it up a little bit. That's all. I like how he started singing to a little da 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 da. da okay. Hey, hey. All right. His voice is really phony. Uh, here's that same clip. A bunch of girls want to know uh, how do you guys feel when the girl eats more than he does. Consistently. <laughs> a bunch of girls want to know, Matt. You okay with a girl who shits it? Like nobody's business. <laughs> Actually, I'm not a small guy by any means. My wife is tiny, and she me every time at Ponderosa. I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm actually impressed. With it. Nice. I'm not, nice. I'm not exactly cool, but I'm impressed by it. You know yeah. what, Matt? You take a woman to Ponderosa, and she you hold on to that That's woman. That's right. She's a keeper. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Does she off your too, Matt? Yeah. Does does she you? No, not normally. <laughs> okay. okay. Good. good thing. All right. That's great. <laughs> Hey Brian, very good. You Brian. got. He understood the homework assignment. Very good, Brian and Bayshore. We should hire him. Yeah. <laughs> You're out, Sam. Brian. Yeah. All right. Uh, we have more of this, but uh, we have a seventh grader that's uh, ditching school. All right. Good uh, boy, John in Princeton. John, what's up? What's up, guys? Oh, I love your show. I always did. This is your show, John. We, we're going for the younger demos. Your seventh grader. Got a deep voice. We got to get these kids before they discover iPods. So we got to go for the younger audience, and we got to grow with them. That's what we're oh, doing I now. My friends at school, we got the wow stickers on our lockers. Yeah, yeah. Well, what the hell are you seeing in seventh grade, though, John? <laughs> yeah, yeah, <laughs> well, dude, no, I hang out with some high school kids, though. You might as well just show each other what you're what you're sporting. It's the same thing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's junior high. What are you doing? Uh, why'd you pick a, a day like this to ditch? Oh, it's snowing. I just didn't feel like going. Oh, okay. That rhymed. Actually, and where, where are I'm your parents pa- going to work in a little bit? I'm going to be smoking some pot. Smoking some pot? Yep. No, I don't believe you. I don't either. I used to do that, though. John, I don't believe you. No, I don't believe he's that young. I'd wait well, out you on the... You want to come over? You bet you I want to come over. <laughs> I mean, you and Chris Hansen talking, laughing. I'm Hi, Jimmy Norton. Cookies. <laughs> You've come over. You've brought some marijuana cigarettes. <laughs> Are you planning to have sex? Sure. He was on last night. Yeah. I was watching a little People bit of that. still watching that? Yeah, I guess so. Now they're showing the decoy girl. Remember how they would like kind of hide her face so you'd only see the back of her? Now they're showing her. This girl that was supposed to be 13, this blonde girl. Does she look 13? No. Yeah. Like, right when you walk in, you'd be like, oh, my God, Chris Hansen's coming out. Yeah. Because you'd know. But uh, they got some um, some guy who was, I guess he was Indian, and he came in, and uh, they busted him, and he was talking about how I just work for a living. I don't have fun. And then he's using as an excuse the fact that he doesn't have any sex with his wife, so he's <laughs> he was trying everything. And then, of course, he was free to go until he got outside. Well, you got to think Chris could understand that, so he let that I one go. understand. So finally, let one of the... He, they should let one guy go. Well, one Because that would make great TV. Like, you know, for... For a goof, we decided that uh, one guy tonight we're going to let go. Who's not watching that? I don't think they'd... <laughs> and then the outrage you're feeling at home, like, why are you letting You'll him let go? You'll let him go. Well, all the but pedoph- you want good TV. But the pedophiles now would feel comfortable because they think, well, once in a while... Maybe I'm go. the guy that gets let go. Yeah. 
So I'm I'm showing up. See, that's why I got to produce TV shows. I, I can make these uh, TV yeah, shows a lot more, more interesting. Give them a little, little more legs. Because it's just a TV show. You can't uh, take it seriously. So I would I would let one of these guys go out of nowhere. And 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 the cops like make the guy look out the window. See that see that tree? That's actually a cop. See yeah. that see that car over there? There's three other guys behind that car waiting for you. You know, see the roof? Yeah, those are snipers just in case. But guess what? We're gonna let you go. And then you film him walking out of the house, and the and the and the, the cops just let, put their guns down to the side and fold their arms and let him walk down the street. I think I think it should be like game show type thing though, where you have to win the chance with all the other pedophiles that they've caught to leave without being arrested. Yeah. Then you win, you get to walk away to applause and a little prize. <laughs> Maybe you get to have sex with the girl. <laughs> well, it's legal because she's not yeah, really she's that age. Not really a, a kid. But yeah. You they show, how about you show the pedophile moseying around the house to that music bed? Just peeking in rooms, looking for the awful voiced person. <laughs> All right, listen. Uh, we got two more 11 year olds on the phone. Okay. And we're going to talk to them next. You, you want to do the last clip from uh, Eric and Kathy for today? Yeah, let's hear a little more right. of this wonderful radio. Sam tried one. Uh, let's say hi to another Eric in Chicago, listening on WCKG. Eric, what's up? Really? Uh huh. Mm -hmm. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. Uh huh. Right. Uh huh. No, really. Yeah, yeah. I, I Eric. Understand that. Hello. What's your name, sir? Hello. Eric. Hello. Yes. Um, Eric. Hello. The guy that I just said Eric to that obviously is not named Eric. Say hi. Uh. Hello. Everyone, just say hi. All right, well. If you hear my voice right now, say hi. What a tool. Dude. You are an ass. Dude, you're right there. Say hi. Say hi. The guy that said hello. Hello. Oh, oh me? That's what I'll do now. How about the guy from Chicago who wants to welcome us to Chicago and he thinks Eric and Kathy suck? You, say hi. <laughs> Maybe he's not connected. He was there. Just heard him. All right. Anyway, uh, Sam tried tried to uh, take some Eric and Kathy audio and, uh -huh. and and make it a little more interesting, a little funnier, a little edgier, a little edgier. The original uh, clip is just unbelievable that they would waste uh, this much time on something like this, and they're beating us in Chicago. That's yeah. what's just amazing. Ah, uh, yeah. Here we go. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Have you seen this video on YouTube? It's like exploded all over YouTube.com. Which one? It's a couple named James and Julia, and they completely recreated the final dance scene in Dirty Dancing for their wedding. No for their way. wedding? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. They did what? What's funny about that? Yeah, thank you. Really? That's funny. No way! No, stop. No way! They found a cure for AIDS? What's it's funny? The same reflection. Inflection. 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 I was I, like, wait. I, I, I reflection. Myself. She went, <laughs> Yeah. Oh, you know what's funny? If the, if the, if YouTube had like a couple that reenacted the end of Philadelphia <laughs> for their wedding, that's funny. <laughs> for their wedding? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah. They did the whole thing. Oh my gosh, that is so. Well, you do every day, sir. The whole thing. I I am so going to see that. They go on there, you know, they're doing the whole dance scene. He's Patrick Swayze. Never take her, he likes so seriously. Right. Puts her up in the air. Right, she's Jennifer her. Gray, the whole thing. He does the lip. It's had like 650,000 hits. People are going crazy for it. It's and apparently, today. they've got it down cold. Are you serious? That's why they, I haven't they, seen it. Somebody was telling oh me God. about it, and I checked, I did some research, and yeah, it's a. Uh, so, I wonder yeah. if they did their practicing in the lake. Maybe. Be soaking yeah. wet. Right. <laughs> Makes me wonder yeah. what kind of guy uh, and what did she have to do to convince him to do this? Oh yeah. I'm I'm I. Are you serious? Are you good? No. Yeah, they, they did. They didn't. I, I I I did the research because I couldn't believe it was true. So I'm I had a thing. Say, uh, I had to see it with my own eyes. Something called the YouTube. The YouTube. I don't know. I I didn't see it. I. <laughs> They uh, yeah, it was really funny. They uh, reenacted for their wedding the first thirty minutes of I spit on your grave. <laughs> no way! Oh, 
<laughs> oh my God! Come on, Chicago, help us out. They all uh, reenacted the drill, drill sergeant, uh, private uh, pile uh, scene uh, from the uh, jacket in the bathroom. <laughs> Uh, this is the couple that I would like uh, to see ten years later. Oh, I thought you were going to say the, in a drunk driving accident. Not well. <laughs> <laughs> where ten years later, the guy is arrested for just chopping her up. Yeah. And then, because of the, that wedding would be like, do you remember when they got married and did the scene from Dirty Dancing? What would lead him to chop her up in the bathtub? Well, let's see what Sam did with that uh, that break to make it uh, funnier, edgier. And maybe a little bit uh, saucy. Saucy. A little spicy. Have you seen this video? Which one? It's a couple named yeah. James and Julia, and they completely <laughs> for their wedding. For their <laughs> wedding? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. They did the whole thing. Oh, my gosh. That is so <laughs> funny. <laughs> I, I'm so going to see that. <laughs> they go on there, you know, they're doing the whole <laughs> scene. He's where you like, seriously, right. puts her up in the air. Right, she's <laughs> the whole thing. <laughs> the lips. It's had like 650,000 hits. People are going crazy for it. It's and apparently, they've got it down cold. Are you serious? That's what it is. I wonder if they did their <laughs> in the lake. Or Maybe. Or she'd be soaking yeah. wet. Right. Weighs her down. You know what makes wet. me wonder? What kind of guy, uh, and what did she have to do to convince him to <laughs> Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Great job, man. Best wow. one yet. That's a good one. The best one yet. Everything fits perfectly. <laughs> now I want to see the video. <laughs> <laughs> Look at Sam. He, he wasn't sure I was going to pass. By the way, the other one did not. I crossed it out. Ah, uh, yeah. One for two today, Sam. <laughs> one for two. But the one you got. Uh, That's yeah, a home run. Very, very good. That's, That's a home run. <laughs> I got to hear that again now. No way! No way! Yeah. She goes, are you yeah. serious? Like, the, just the joy she feels. That's something they discussed in the break that they were going to talk about. This yeah. Time, yeah. Bitch. It was written down for a day. Ah, oh, yeah.